Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Kali NetHunter on any Samsung device without rooting your phone. We will also cover all the common issues uh, you might encounter during the installation process. So you will be fully prepared. This is going to be a detailed step-by-step -step guide. Now without wasting more time, let's jump right in. First thing, let me show you which phone I am using. So let's head over to settings and then about phone. I am using Samsung Galaxy S23. And guys, this method will work for any Samsung device. You can also see I am running on the latest Android 14 uh, with One UI 5.1, which is the most up-to-date version as of now. Now to install Kali Linux on your Samsung phone, you will need to install two apps, Tarmux and NetHunter KX. Tarmux is used for running Linux command on Android, and NetHunter KX is used for accessing Kali Linux desktop environment. I will provide a download link for both the app in the description below. Once both the apps are not installed, open Termux first. And don't worry, I will explain what each command does as we go along. Uh, first, uh, type apt update. This command update the packages list to ensure you have the latest version of available packages. It is an important step uh, before installing anything. Uh, next, we need to run this command. apt install wget. wget is used to download the files from the internet directly into the Termux. So download it. Once wget is installed, we need to run this command to download a NetHunter installation script. This script will set up Kali NetHunter on your device. Uh, now type ls to check the downloaded script and you should see install NetHunter Termux. Now type the command chmod plus x install NetHunter Termux. This command makes the script executable and allowing us to run it in the Termux. Now type this command to start the installation. And guys, here you will see uh, three options. Uh, first is full, uh, which is for complete environment. Uh, minimal is for essential tool and nano is for basic setup. As we want GUI, so type 1 and hit enter to select the full installation option. This process might take time as it need to download the net enter image, uh, which is about 2 GB. So I'm going to fast forward this part to save the time. So the file is not downloaded and extracted. Now it is asking to delete the downloaded file. Uh, here type n and hit enter uh, to keep the file. Uh, now netenter is installed. If you encounter an error like resolve.config, uh, no such file or directory, skip this part to fix it and then come back to continue. Now in the terminal type netenter or nh to launch Kali netenter. Uh, so yes, we are now in Kali Linux terminal. First, let's update the Kali by typing sudo apt update and default password is Kali. And guys, we can run anything here using terminal, uh, but we want the GUI, right? Uh, so let's exit from the Kali uh, by typing exit and type command nh kex kex. First, we need to set a password for our Kali. Uh, so let me enter it. Now it is asking, would you like to enter a view only password? Uh, so here type n and hit enter. This means we want a uh, set a view only password and allowing full control of the GUI. So our server has started at port 5901, uh, which you can see in the output. Uh, now you can access Kali NetEnter GUI using the uh, NetEnter GAX app. So let's open it. Now here click on the plus icon. Here keep all thing as it is, uh, we need to change port number only. So uh, change port to 5901 and click on save. Uh, now let's double click on it to run it. Uh, first we need to enter our password and then confirm. Uh, so yes, uh, you should see Kali NetEnter GUI. So we have successfully installed Kali NetEnter on our device. Uh, but guys, first thing you must do is increase the font size uh, for the whole screen for better viewing. However, keep in mind that interface might be small and less usable on a phone. If you find it challenging to navigate, installing Kali on PC might be a better option for more comfortable experience. In this GUI, you can access all the powerful tools for ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Remember to use this tool responsibly and only on the system you have permission to test. Enjoy using Kali NetHunter. Uh, now let's fix some issues you might face during the installation or after the installation. 
Uh, first, if you're getting error signal line after running the nskx command, follow this step. First, you need to open the phone setting and enable developer option. So let me enable it. Uh, here, tap on build number seven time in a row to enable the developer option. Now, developer option is enabled. So open it. Here, we need to enable USB debugging option and wireless debugging option. Once both are enabled, open wireless debugging option. Now minimize the setting apps and open terminals in a split view uh, for the better viewing. So let me split it. Now in the terminal, we need to run this command pkg install android tool. This command is used to access your android device using adb. Once it is installed, go back to wireless debugging option and click on the pair device with pairing code. Here you will see IP and port. So on the terminals, run this command, ATB, pair and this IP and port. Uh, just like this. Now it is asking for the pairing code. So here we have our pairing code. Let me enter it. So our device is paired successfully. Uh, next, we need to run adb connect command. So in the terminal, run uh, this command adb connect and this IP address and port to establish the connection uh, between your phone and your terminal. And there you go. Our device is successfully connected. Finally, run this big command and your uh, signal line issue should be fixed. Uh, now, if you run uh, an xcast command, you will not getting any error like uh, error signal line or you will not be disconnected from the CAC server. Next, if you're getting error like resolve.config no such file or directory, here how you can fix it. I encountered this error when script was extracting the file after downloading. And after a few seconds, it threw this error. Uh, so to fix it, run this command to move Kali ARM64 folder to the root directory or home directory. Uh, so let me run this command. Once it's done, uh, let's type ls to confirm. And you should see that uh, Kali ARM64 file has been moved. Uh, now, if you run this script again, you won't face uh, error anymore. And that's it guys, you have successfully installed Kali NetHunter on your Samsung device. And I have shown how to resolve some common issues like error signal line and resolve.config no such file or directory. I hope this step-by-step -step guide made the process easier for you. Uh, if this video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.